Juice Gaming here, and today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a Minecraft carpet bomber. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So before we start the video, I just wanted to quickly apologize for my voice. I am sick and yeah. Okay guys, so this is the flying machine. It is a very, very simple. We have a simple uh, system of retreating on both sides. So I'm an immovable block. I chose a furnace because it's the cheapest. Three observers and a repeater set to three ticks. We have the same thing on this side, but on this side, we also have this piston and lever which is the system that lets us stop and activate the system. The actual flying machine is here, the simple one, and the bottom for a carpet duper. And as you can see, this is sort of the width of the flying machine's uh, explosion rate. You can go further, the length is not unlimited, but you will need chunk loaders because the flying machine will only work like oh, every flying machine in loaded chunk. So I will just quickly show you guys how to activate this. We turn on this lever, we press it, as you can see, the flying machine starts. Don't worry, the TNT should act like this, it only bombs one way, like going on one side, then it returns and bombs. It's almost at the station, as you can see, it's retreated and it starts bombing again. A lot of TNT is being duped. As you can see, with this observer here, it came back. But now, let's say I finished my bombing, I flick the lever, and the next time it comes, it will stop here. As you can see, flying up, and it stops. All the items that we need are here. So, this is what you need really basically nothing for what this thing does in a matter of hours it can make a whole perimeter for you with i don't know for a slime farm or something you don't need to worry about mob spawns these items here are only needed for the installate installation of the minecart these are only for the first time they're not actually in the build it's temporary we'll place a furnace next to it like so leaving this temporary block here let's take our observer place it here cobblestone slab here redstone repeater set to four ticks observer with the dot facing upwards and the face here <clears throat> like so now another observer here but this will be the side with the activation so i'll quickly make that piston lever and we already have a working activation system like so here we take our piston place it here this is important sticky piston next to this observer slime block here slime block in front of the sticky piston like so here we take another sticky piston facing backwards this time here we take an observer place it here an observer place it here dots into the pistons like so now from the bottom here from the sticky piston place two slime blocks like so now place a fence here slime blocks here in a sort of l shape like so dead coral fan here tnt here here are two of your temporary blocks detector rail minecart sticky piston facing this way like so button here press the button everything is on the slime block and the way that we just did that was very important that's the only way it will work all right so here 20 blocks out furnace placed here place a temporary block here place an observer here with the face this way place a slab here place a restaurant repeater set to four ticks here observer dot facing upwards 
another observer dot facing this way this is how it should look like you can break the temporary block now over here with the return station done this is done we are ready to launch so start the system tnt start dropping like so it creates a ditch flying machine flies by everything works perfectly now on its return path it goes back without dropping any tnt but it works only one way it starts bombing again boom boom boom, boom. destruction as you can see stops by doesn't return and that's everything done this can be a way of mining diamonds uh, but as i said it is pretty dangerous i think my tunnel bore video will be more useful if you're looking for that this is more for digging parameters for farms okay guys so i really do hope that you enjoyed this video it was a ton of fun to make and i hope this little machine will help you make your perfect perimeter for of course my bone meal farm and pumpkin farm and wheat farm and every other farm that i made am i right if you didn't check those out be sure to do be sure to anyway guys i will see you in the next one Bye-bye!